Hey yo guys, Enigma here, and I'm talking right now. I just finished playing some of the open beta just now, but um, I for some reason YouTube was acting up, so I couldn't really like live stream it because when I did do my OBS, it was a little choppy. So I just wanted to just have a nice little conversation with you guys. I'm not gonna take all your time, but I want to speak about the Boruto, Gara, Kaguya, and um, Kakashi inclusion. So my thoughts on it, initial thoughts was I was pissed off. Because we all had our money banked on Sakura. And rightfully so. Sorry, let me just take this off, guys. Anyway, honestly, it should have been Sakura. But I'm not going to be mad or get upset that we got Boruto and we got Kaguya. It's just, I don't know where the roster's even going. Yes, it's about a popularity contest. To, that's what it looked like to me. But to be honest, I was quite upset. But I don't know why. My favorite Naruto character is Kakashi Sensei, and he's in the game. So I should be happy. But I don't know. I just cannot. I can't grasp it. I'm just, like, really upset. I'm really upset. Because I'm thinking we're going to get Sakura, maybe Hanata. Still a possibility. Because the scan was from Weekly Shonen Jump. It wasn't from V-Jump. The V-Jump, you know, the 20-page um, issue we're waiting for of Jump Force news. That's what we're waiting for. So we should be getting that probably tomorrow okay now right now it's 7 30 hopefully i can premiere this by 9 maybe 10 o'clock so you guys can watch it whenever you guys are ready but yeah like when i when i played the beta and i tested out avatar number six avatar number six had a, a fighting style you knew it was naruto character because they had to run with the arms behind their back but we couldn't determine who it was they had a bunch of kicks and punches but it didn't look like it was something Kakashi does. Kakashi always has a kunai in his hand. In every game you play with him, he has combos, he has kunais. Now, it has to either be Sakura or Mike Guy. But the way they're punching, you would just scratch off Mike Guy. I'm going to say it's Sakura. But then I was thinking about it. Hmm, it could be Sarada. Because you got Boruto. And having Sarada in a game wouldn't hurt either. I just think that they like why would you announce sakura later you know unless they're gonna do an all women trailer having madaka sakura maybe hanata and nami i'm thinking those four make sense to me why nami because when you play with the avatar number six or the other female avatar that they have in um the open beta you can notice that the voice sounds like nami voice actor a lot of people are saying it's not nami voice actor but i watched one piece for years and it sounds like nami now you can either listen for yourself in the video i had before and that will let you know whether it was nami or not but honestly uh i'm not that upset over the whole situation of boris again but at, at, at first i was because i didn't understand i'm i, I don't know where the roster is going and also you're not going to count Boruto as a Naruto character. Yes, he's a Naruto spinoff character, but he has his own series. So that is a so totally separate series. So right now, Naruto is at five characters right now. So Sakura getting included does make sense. And if you go to Avatar 6 and you listen to how the person sounds, it sounds like it could be Nami. So if it's Nami, that means One Piece is looking at seven characters coming up. Now, as they have seven characters, then Dragon Ball has to have seven characters. Now, if Dragon Ball has seven characters, it's the perfect time. Two months ago, when I said Team Gohan, before I even said Trunks, I said Team Gohan. What's the point of having Cell without Team Gohan? Let's, Cell and Team Gohan are hand in hand. So, to me, I think they're, they're, I think all the big three are going to have seven reps. The seventh rep for One Piece would be Nami. The seventh rep for Dragon Ball would be team gohan and for one p uh, for naruto we're looking at sakura at number six and number seven probably going to be hinata why why not madara right yeah well since kaguya absorbed madara what's the point of putting madara in the game it doesn't make sense now madara came you will automatically say okay if you're going to have a six rep or a seventh rep you'll just automatically write it obito i don't know what it is with the japanese audience and how much they love uh kaguya i just can't stand her i just think she's the one one of the most cop out anime villains i've ever seen you never heard anything about this woman the entire time you watch naruto 
I mean, no flashbacks in a ninja school. Nothing. They don't speak of her. For be the the mother of Chakra, that why that name has never came up. Like it was just so lame. Now the character design and how awesome she is. Fine, I'll give you that. But you're not gonna sit here and tell me she's that important, cause she's not. And if she, if she's that important to you and I'm bashing your character, I apologize. But let's be real, she's not that important. So you took you chose her over Madara Uchiha. Who could have, you know, Madara would have been better because you got Madara in his normal state or reincarnated state. Then you can have a Susono state. Or you can make him go into his six pass state. It's an ultimate awakening. I don't know. You, you had opportunities. I don't know what you're going to do with Kaguya. I don't know what her ultimate awakening is going to be. I don't know if they're going to even add the stage transitioning. That's the thing that's going to mix me up. I don't know how this player, this, this character is going to play. I'm actually excited to see how she's going to play. I hope she plays better than Ninja Storm. Because in Ninja Storm, she was a piece of crap. A lot of people said, oh, she was really OP and, be and beastie in Ninja Storm 4, but I'm like, not really. Anytime I've ever faced a Kaguya player, I trashed them. I don't know what it is. I just trashed them. It wasn't good, and I don't know if it's just I was walking to lobbies when they weren't that good. Now, more on to Gara. I really don't know what to say. Gara is a cool character. I'm actually excited to see how do they, how they're going to animate the sand. If they can pull off and animate the sand real good, oh man, then that's all I need to see. But if they cannot pull that off, then I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen any character that has an animation that's so distinctive as his. Sand going around him. He's attacking with sand. He's a distance fighter. The only distance fighter we have right now is Real Saiba. Now, if Gara pulls off some crazy stuff, I'm gonna shut my mouth. And I, honestly, guys, to be 100% on the hero, I don't mind that Gara. I don't. The only problems I do have is Boruto and Kaguya. I don't. I just don't understand it because you could put Madara in, and you could have put Sakura in. And, if, and all right, if anything, you're saying you're gonna balance female representation. You could have easily added Sakura in and Kaguya. That's two female reps right there. Once again, the rest of the leaks should be coming tomorrow. Or it should be tomorrow. I'm sorry. It should be tomorrow. I'm not going to say anything other than tomorrow. It should be tomorrow or either later on tonight. Because right now it is 7.30. Hopefully I can upload this by 9. If you're seeing this and it's 9, then you know I, I'm recording this fresh right now. It's 7.30. You understand? 7.30. So I'm not pulling any wool over your head right now. 7.29. Okay? So this is not pre-recorded. It's pre-recorded. But it's currently recorded how I feel. I just finished playing the beta. I was going to stream. My stuff crashed. I don't know what's going on. But let me go back to the Gara situation. Gara's cool. I hope they animate him right. I hope he didn't take somebody's spot such as Sakura. I know a lot of people don't like Sakura. And I don't know what everybody's flack is with Sakura. But she is very important to the series. Without her, there's no Team 7. I'm sorry. I don't know how the game's going. Like, what, what, is, what is the story going? How is Boruto here? Are we traveling through times in different dimensions? What is Boruto and Naruto's inclusion in the story together? Like, doesn't that mess up the timeline? I guess it don't really matter, do it? Moving on to Kakashi. <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, we all picture that anyway. His whole Joni outfits in the game. His attire is in the game. I just think uh, he's going to play really good. I hope he... You know what? I, I do like the fact that since he have a lightning blade, we do get an aura change with the Chidori. I'm going to say Chidori, but it's the lightning blade. Same thing. We do get an aura change, which is cool. Um, We get a combo weeks. Probably be his ultimate. If not his ultimate, then I'll be surprised. Maybe he might... He might have... Um, what is it? Duel Mangekyo? Sharon guns in his eyes, so he might end up having an ultimate and bring out Susono. So that'll be kind of cool. I don't know how they're gonna do it since we have no Obito. We could Matt, we could just assume that he's gonna have the dual Sharon guns, and that's gonna be good. I hope he plays nothing like Sasuke, which he shouldn't because Kakashi normally has 
close range hand-in-hand -hand combat and using a kunai in his hand. That's why I'm saying Avatar 6 is not Kakashi moveset. I'm also going to say Avatar 6 is not Sarada's moveset because she used the kunai just as well. And I would think her combo string, like, it makes sense for it to be Sarada because you have Baruto here. So now that you have another representation from Baruto, you have two characters from there. You don't need a, a, a villain. They could team up in the storyline and the story mode with Sasuke and Naruto because those are his, or those are the kids. Those are the kids. Kakashi can be either older Kakashi or it can be Kakashi from the war. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to play it. Now, that would be interesting, too, if you think about it. What if it's Kakashi from Baruto? Then it would be Baruto, Kakashi, and Sarada. There would be three reps from Boruto. Now, I don't, I doubt that. I didn't see the scan myself, but let's just say that's that's the case. Then that means there's more spots open for Naruto, which would mean you could put Madara, you can put Sakura, and you can put Hinata. But like I said, don't quote me on it. I doubt that's the case. The So today, the Weekly Shonen Jump revealed them. That's not the V-Jump. The V jump is coming later on today. My expectation for V jump, it has to be at least 12 characters. I'm sorry. Now, Yanko said 12. I don't know if the Naruto characters were a part of that 12. I, don't, I really don't. But I do know Koro Sensei, Jotaro, Dio, Madaka, Suna. Those are names that he's been hinting and playing around with for a while before Bandai Namco shut him down. So I'm going to guess those five are definitely going to be in the V-Jump scan. I'm not saying this is like once you, I think the V-Jump scan is going to be everything we need to know before release. Yes, we have more coming weeks before the game release. Therefore, we have more Weekly Shonen Jump releases. So that is true. You have more Weekly Shonen Jump uh, scans to come after the V-Jump scan, but the V-Jump scan is going to be jam-packed. With it being that jam-packed, it should have everybody we need. Like, it should not be, you should answer every question we need. That's why this V-Jump is so important to us. If we're looking for any leaks, this would be the leaks of all leaks. Like, I'm excited. I'm off tomorrow. So, I will be playing the open beta against some of you guys online. And I will be recording you if you eat this L. So, <laughs> take a look out. Um, also, definitely follow me on Twitter. I keep telling you guys all the time. I'm super active on Twitter. I'm trying to be very active on um, YouTube. But I haven't live streamed on YouTube yet. I live streamed on Twitch yesterday. It was a good live stream. A lot of people enjoyed it. We learned a lot of different things. Um, I just feel that uh, I got to learn how to live stream on YouTube. My computer seemed like it's not that fast enough because when I was doing it, my frame rate kept dropping. I'm working on that, guys, for you. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just going to wrap the video up. I had like 18 more, not 18, like I had 18 minutes of footage, but I'm going to close it out now because it ain't much to say. Um, also, I'm about to I'm be um, streaming on Twitch very soon, and I'm just happy you guys got to see this. I'm excited to be stre uh, streaming some more. And I'm going to try to get on YouTube a stream so I can get more subscribers. If you're watching this and you're a new subscriber, definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, drop a like, share, comment. I don't know. how. how what, what was your initial reaction when you saw that those four characters were the characters coming into the game and they just completely sidelined Sakura and they sidelined Madara or Myra? I don't know. Sound off, guys. I'm hitting you guys soon. I'm going to be streaming soon. Follow me on Twitter to find out when I'm streaming. Come on, guys. Let's get on it. I'll holler at you guys later.